Hey guys, wanted to do a quick little video over the best uh, firearm, I think, uh, caliber wise for both uh, youth and uh, female. And this is going to be the 243. And uh, this is a, a Browning a 243 that I've had for quite some time. And really am impressed with this. Uh, my wife shoots it. Uh, my little girls will eventually shoot this weapon. And I just find that that 243 is enough punch to be able to harvest a large majority of your white-tailed deer, you know, as well as the recoil is not going to be substantial in regards to really, you know, hitting that shoulder hard and scaring them. Um, now, I will talk about getting, uh, you know, a youth or, you know, somebody in uh, to shooting a high-powered rifle and kind of the steps that I've uh, taken that I feel like work out very well. Um, and very, the very basic one is if you've got a BB gun or a pellet gun, you know, introduce the individual to the uh, shooting. And then after that, jump into that 22 uh, caliber. You know, I'm a big fan of open sights uh, on those weapons, those first two, just so they understand how that weapon actually shoots. Then as you progress, that's when you want to start getting into you know, your, your scopes, you know, you can start introducing them to a 22 with a scope and then work your way on up to a 223 and then on into, you know, the rifle of choice for deer hunting. Uh, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with uh, stopping at a 223, um, but, you know, you've got uh, a lot better uh, harvest uh, rate in uh, the two, 243. Um, I feel like there's a lot more uh, punch to that weapon. And I just feel like it's really the, the right way to go in regards to, uh, you know, getting, getting both the youth and females into hunting. Um, my number two choice is a round that has probably been around, I'm going to guess, five, six years now. And it's that 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, I actually uh, have got several weapons that uh, you guys are probably seeing um, either on some of my doe hunts or... Uh, my thermal hunts, uh, that's, that's a specific caliber that I use uh, for, for my thermal and coyote hunts is that 6.5 Creedmoor. You know, again, a lot of individuals like to run with the 243 uh, with the coyote, you know, with varmint hunting. Um, it's just a good all around gun uh, caliber and you'll be able to do the large majority of, you know, Midwestern hunt hunting, um, you know, when it comes to whitetail, coyotes, uh, you kind of name it. Now, I will introduce you a product that I thought has been a great game changer in regards to holding that weapon steady and also when you're hunting, holding that weapon in a downrange position or direction. And this is the Death Grip uh, by Bog. And what ends up happening here is it, it can go you know, a lot taller than this, but all you're doing is setting that weapon right in there, and then you just tighten it down. You've got two levels here, one of which uh, squeezes it here and clamps that weapon down, and then the other one is going to be the ability to move that weapon up and down, and that's how you would tighten it on that left-hand side there, uh, depending on you know how you've got that thing formed. But as you can see, you know, we can tighten this thing down here a little bit more and see that weapon stays extremely stable uh, sitting right there and that way you know depending on what your youth um, or the shooter's height is you know if you're standing you're sitting um, then you can already be proactive and ready to take that shot this is a great way to practice um, you know instead of using the bench like setting you can come out here use this again keep it focused on that target then let the individual come in there and shoot until they start uh, identifying the target on their own. And I think that that really should work out very well. Um, so I think that that gives you guys a pretty good idea in regards to uh, a good choice to get started with uh, youth or females. Um, I will say, you know, whatever gun you choose, as long as you're uh, comfortable with it shooting wise, then, you know, more power to you. But this is a great start starting point on a caliber that I would definitely recommend. So I appreciate you guys liking the video. Like always, hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature and best luck on your upcoming hunt.